Electric vehicles are one of the best solution to reduce environment pollution and to stop crude oil imports. But same like electric vehicles, there are other alternate fuel technologies which can help to reduce environment pollution. One of such kind of technology is hydrogen. The vehicles which run on hydrogen won't emit any pollution. These hydrogen vehicles run same as electric vehicles. An electric vehicle has battery and motor in it. If we charge the battery, it will supply power to motor to run the vehicle. Vehicle. So same like this an hydrogen vehicle has battery, motor along with a hydrogen tank and fuel cell. When we fill hydrogen into these tanks, the fuel cell converts hydrogen into electricity and charges the battery. It emits water vapor and hot water out of the vehicle. So the charged battery helps the motor to run the vehicle. This mechanism runs continuously to help the vehicle run on the hydrogen gas. I made a dedicated video explaining how this hydrogen powered vehicle works. The link will be in the description. If you are interested, please go ahead and watch after this video. Toyota has successfully made this hydrogen powered vehicle called Mirai. Our Union Minister Nitin Gadkari G is using this Mirai car since long time. The main drawback with these hydrogen vehicles is fuel stations. There are very limited number of hydrogen filling stations available in India. So this is the reason hydrogen vehicles are not popular in India till now. Like crude oil, hydrogen can't be moved from one place to another place. It gets very expensive if we move it. Hydrogen should be produced at the same fuel station where it's supposed to be sold. So, to address this issue, a Belgium based company called Sol HYD introduced hydrogen solar panels. These panels can generate hydrogen with a new mechanism included in it. These hydrogen solar panels look very identical to current solar panels. Current solar panels produce electricity by using heat from the sun. These solar panels has wires under the them. But hydrogen solar panels has tubes under them. Basically, these hydrogen solar panels absorbs and stores moisture which is in the air inside the tubes. Moisture has pure form of water and these tubes stores that water throughout the night. Then in the daytime, it uses heat energy from the sun and converts those water into hydrogen and oxygen. The molecular formula of the water is H2O. These hydrogen solar panels divides H2O into H and O2 by using heat energy. This produced H, I mean hydrogen will be stored in the tank and oxygen will be released outside. So like this, hydrogen solar panels continuously generates hydrogen and oxygen from the water molecules. We don't need to supply any water to these panels separately. They absorb water from the air which will be in the purest form. This produced green hydrogen can be used for various purposes. We can pump up our own vehicle and run without causing any pollution to the environment. So if this solar Solar panels get successful globally, it can change the future of entire automobile industry. But there are some demerits on this hydrogen solar panels. First of all, let's look the merits of this hydrogen solar panels. These hydrogen solar panels can be used in various applications like automobiles, industrial purposes, and can generate electricity from these. It causes no pollution to the environment. But the demerit is this process is very expensive as of now. Hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table. So the density of this hydrogen will be very less. It takes large place to store. This hydrogen produced by these solar panels takes a 20 liter can to store 5 to 6 kgs of hydrogen. But if we compress this gas in high pressure, it can be stored in less space. But this compressing mechanism takes a lot of money. To convert this hydrogen into electricity, a fuel cell will be used but the conversion rate is very less but if we install 20 hydrogen panels on our rooftop these can generate 120 to 240 kgs of hydrogen per year which equals to 4000 to 6000 units of electricity and next and next to these hydrogen panels generated hydrogen can't be pumped into an hydrogen car directly this has to be compressed at very high pressure which costs more the solution for this is a hydrogen filling station can collect this green hydrogen from multiple houses which has these hydrogen panels and can compress it to use for fueling vehicles. So these are the positives, negatives and complete details on these hydrogen solar panels. As of now, these hydrogen solar panels are sold only for industrial purposes in Belgium. By 2026, commercial purpose hydrogen panels will be released and the price will be 2 to 3 times more than a conventional solar panels. So what's your opinion on these hydrogen solar panels? Please let me know in the comments. And if you found the video informative, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Electric Vehicles India. Go green, go electric.